Hello guys, it's Clara and Vanessa, who's currently one year old and we are about to film a video about baby sleeping. I'm uh, gonna definitely show you her favorite things to sleep with, but she's about to take a nap at the moment, so gonna film uh, the things later on. <laughs> So the first thing is Vanessa usually sleeps still with the pacifier. Hers is from Nook and she has uh, this same brand since she was born. Then her favorite things to sleep with are this little uh, sheet which my mom did for her and she loves it. Uh, it actually has a new head because uh, it was destroyed quite and uh, she loves it. Then she sleeps with this little baby pillow with Bambi and here it says little baby. Wanna hold it? Okay. Hold it then. Then she has a little uh, blanket to sleep with. It's a plain uh, light pink one. And obviously a uh, fabric diaper as well. And a few of her favorite little toys. Look at her, she's already about to take a nap, right? She also sleeps with a, or basically falls asleep with a uh, Disney movie on and currently she's watching Shrek. Uh, she loves Disney movies, uh, mostly Cinderella, 101 uh, Dalmatians, also a uh, Mulan, Pocahontas, and that's pretty much it, right? <coughs> oh, and we need a poo. She loves that one. So, those are her favorites. She likes Shrek, she likes uh, also a few others. She's not really a fan of Frozen, and uh, that's probably it. So she's going to take a nap and I'm going to show you her bed as well. So her bed is next to our bed and uh, basically there's two of those pillows, a bumpy one and a big one. Uh, we need a pool from my mom which she got for her name day. Um, a little rabbit which she got when she was born for my sister. A little mini uh, pillow. There's a, uh, a horse and kangaroo with a baby, which we call actually Kanga and Ru, like from Winnie the Pooh. And she's watching TV basically. Actually, as I said before, I'm going to share with you some of the tricks and tips uh, for your baby sleeps. Also, I'm going to share our journey 
and Vanessa is currently napping uh, so I'm just here sitting with my coffee so I'm going to drink that while talking with you so uh, first I need to say that every baby is different and what works for Vanessa doesn't necessarily need to work for your baby uh, because definitely every baby is unique uh, and I also have to say that Vanessa is really easy baby and uh, her sleeping was amazing since the newborn phase so basically our uh, worst sleeping phase was the first four days of her life when we were in the hospital and uh, obviously I didn't have a room for just myself and Vanessa we shared a room with one or two other moms and one or two other babies so basically the babies uh, woke up each other during the night and uh, basically one baby just fell asleep the other one woke up uh, the other baby or babies so that was crazy Obviously, I was exhausted as well because I didn't really have any sleep. Uh, definitely during the night, I was in labor because uh, we actually arrived at the hospital at like 11 p.m. and I was in uh, the labor room since like midnight uh, till 6 a.m. when I was actually born on 4 a.m. and uh, we had like bonding for two hours just me, my boyfriend and Vanessa we also had a breakfast there and uh, so that was probably like uh, the only time I was like able to relax a little bit I obviously felt really really dizzy so I I just basically felt uh, exhausted and not really comfortable uh, definitely weird because uh, I I just had a lot of blood pressure and felt super super dizzy couldn't really like open my eyes, couldn't really eat uh, but otherwise I was fine <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, there was uh, just the worst of the nights uh, it was also because we had some special light for it was actually blue and the whole room was blue uh, because of that and it was some special light because of the uh, newborn um, like dizziness and uh, we actually had one for one night and then two for the other night Vanessa had one for uh, one night as well and uh, I also needed to wake up every three hours to give her food which was actually formula milk uh, because breastfeeding wasn't really a thing for us uh, I actually had uh, just a small amount of a breast milk and uh, so since like day two she was on formula milk as well uh, we actually tried to breastfeed the time I was just breastfeeding for like one and a half a month or two months and um, we actually had a formula milk after each uh, breastfeed uh, plus I was breastfeeding just at home and not during the night uh, so Basically, I don't really mind that I wasn't breastfeeding at all. Uh, to be honest, it's not really comfortable for me. Obviously, it's for free. Uh, you can save lots of money, but uh, 
it's definitely not really comfortable for me and I am also one of some definitely prefer a formula milk but that's not a thing uh, so I needed to feed her and weight her uh, fill the papers and things like that so I basically had an alarm uh, to wake me up every three hours which was crazy so didn't really have proper sleep uh, during the whole stay at the hospital so there was uh, basically the worst sleeping phase for us uh, plus uh, one night she was teething it was actually last month and uh, it was just uh, that she actually had a gel for her little teeth uh, to relieve her from pain it didn't work uh, which obviously uh, usually works uh, she also had a medicine a pacifier uh, from the fridge which was cold so it relieves her from the pain but nothing will work she basically woke up just before we actually went to sleep so she didn't really woke up uh, during the night at all but uh, it was really crazy uh, I felt really really sorry for her but we actually tried everything we, sh we could but uh, nothing really worked and basically she was crying she was in pain uh, she was actually sleeping with us that night uh, and thankfully, uh, the other day she was 100% fine. So uh, she actually had two new teeth at the time. She's currently uh, one year old. She actually turned one year back in July. And that time she had just two teeth. At the moment she has five and she's still teething at the moment so we'll see I think that there are two more on way but uh, there was actually the other uh, verse of the uh, sleeping journey of ours uh, basically most of the babies uh, wake up during the night for a milk uh, Vanessa isn't really one of those babies at all uh, she basically woke up for like first two weeks twice uh, during the night and the first wake up was actually before we went to sleep so we had to wake up just once during the night and uh, since then uh, till like she was two months old she woke up just twice uh, no just once during the night uh, so yeah it's it's really uh, something to be grateful for because most of the babies wake up uh, more than twice or once during the night uh, and basically since then she is sleeping basically till now for the whole night sometimes it's just sometimes uh, she wakes up because of some nightmare uh, and basically then she falls asleep within five minutes so it's really really easy So let's talk about a swaddling. Um, basically, it's a thing for many, many babies, especially in the newborn phase. It wasn't really a thing for us at all because uh, obviously Vanessa was born in July and it was definitely hot outside. Uh, so we actually were swaddling just uh, for the first two weeks. 
uh, basically in the hospital because uh, each baby had a sweat blood hair and I was actually quite afraid to hold her and you know she was really really tiny it's my first baby and I didn't really know how to uh, hold her back at the time uh, so it was much easier for me to uh, put her in the bed or you know to just uh, have her in my arms uh, because I was really afraid <laughs> and uh, then we were swaddling for the first few days at home and uh, since that uh, a swaddle was just uh, for her to lay on and uh, to have it underneath the a little play gym and you know to lay on couch uh, because it's actually nice to lay on but uh, definitely it was really really hot outside so uh, we just decided uh, not to swaddle her she also didn't like uh, the arms uh, like you know in the position where she couldn't really move it she basically need her arms free uh, that's basically for the whole time <laughs> she hates uh, when she can't really move her arms uh, she actually has a, a little pillow then she had uh, two pillows uh, it's actually quite flat uh, a blanket and some mantinels uh, plus some toys and you know the little toys that she basically just hugs and she can sleep with it but uh, a blanket isn't really a thing for us at all as well she actually don't really like to be covered uh, she didn't really mind when she was really newborn and for the first few months uh, I believe that since she was like six months old she basically just uh, realized that she can actually kick the uh, blanket away so she is not covered anymore uh, not even during the winter months or uh, when it's cold uh, so basically she has the blanket in her crib but it's just it's just there uh, she also usually uh, turn around and she basically just lay on the blanket uh, as it's like a pillow for her so she basically move everything around her crib during the night or even like during her sleep or when she's awake before she actually falls asleep so uh, basically I just let her how she wants to sleep because obviously I'm not the one who would sleep in like one position for the whole night so uh, I want the same for her so she can basically move around as she wants and uh, basically uh, as she's not covered obviously I need to uh, keep her warm uh, especially during the winter so uh, like previously she was sleeping just in a uh, hay diaper uh, because it was really really hot uh, she also had a fan hair to give the room some air and to cold it a little bit and basically at the moment she's sleeping in palisou like this which is with short sleeves and nothing on legs plus obviously a diaper and during uh, the autumn 
uh, winter and uh, even like spring when it's not really hot outside she would be sleeping in overlay like this which is with feet on as well uh, this one is actually a bigger uh, size than she usually wears she actually wears uh, the size 68 and this is 74 uh, but I basically just put the 68 overalls away because obviously she's not wearing it at the moment and when she will be wearing it I feel like she's going to need the bigger size Plus, when it's really, really cold outside, and obviously, as she's not a fan of blanket, I'm just going to keep even her feet a little bit warmer with these little super cute and fluffy socks. My boyfriend actually wears those for sleeping even during the summer months, which is crazy for me. <laughs> Uh, but I did the same. I just basically slept with sex on and couldn't really fall asleep without it. At the moment, I just sleep without socks on and I can wear it just during the winter months. Uh, usually, I would put it away uh, when I fall asleep or during the night. So, those are super cute ones it's really really sweet it's fluffy it keeps her uh, uh, feet actually warm and basically usually Lilo is playing right there uh, she usually uh, wouldn't really want her socks on as well so basically what she does is she throw it away and I just find it in her crib or on the floor in the morning so but we'll see maybe if it will be really cold she would keep it on so let's talk about a sleeping routine uh, basically Vanessa goes to bed around like 6 p.m. till like 9 or even 9 30 p.m. It basically depends on our day, uh, on what we do, um, even on like the time when she wakes up previously because she actually still have quite some naps during the day. Uh, so she doesn't really have a strict time to go to the bed. And it actually works for us. Uh, I know that some people are like strict to the times and it works for them as well. So it basically just depends on you. But I just basically don't really want to, you know, like rush home from the hall because it's like her bedtime or uh, even like this weekend we are going on Pinoparini, which is a festival and uh, they have concerts till probably like night. So we'll basically be there. Uh, she will be in her stroller, she will be sleeping. We won't be really at the concert, but we will be listening to it. And uh, if it's going to be quite nice weather, which should be, we are about to have a picnic blanket and we are just going to sit there and listen to the music and she's gonna be completely fine about it which is just a lifesaver for me because obviously uh, I would do anything for her but uh, I'm also glad that uh, like our life doesn't necessarily need to be like uh, strict to some hours and routines and things like that so uh, this really works for us uh, obviously it might not work for you and you might need uh, some strict times but uh, we just don't and uh, I'm glad about it uh, also 
definitely when it's going to be uh, autumn and winter it's gonna be uh, dark outside quite sooner than now and obviously we are all going uh, just to bed and sleep pretty much earlier than at the moment uh, so it basically depends on the uh, season of the year as well and um, it just works for us which is amazing uh, as I mentioned before she sleeps the whole night and basically she wakes up mostly around 7 to 8 a.m. Uh, sometimes even uh, like later which was for example today I basically just left the bedroom uh, quite quiet and she didn't really woke up and she basically uh, was sleeping till like 8.30 <laughs> um, so that's just a good amount of sleep also about the sleeping routine she actually falls asleep by herself which is amazing i'm so grateful for it uh she's used to it uh since she was newborn and obviously i'm not letting her cry or anything like that uh, when she cries i'm just going there because usually it's like she doesn't really want to sleep or she basically throw up uh, some of the toys or pacifier out of the bed and she can't really reach for it so i need to pass it to her or she wants to change the uh, fairy tale which she's watching so uh, obviously i'm not really letting her cry at all um, but it's just really a lifesaver that she can fall asleep by herself because obviously i know many many people whose babies are even like older than vanessa for example one of my friends uh daughter is two years old and she's not really able to fall asleep by herself she basically slept for the whole night maybe like five times yet and uh, during the day she doesn't really fall asleep at all maximum in the stroller so basically my friend needs to walk with her even if it's raining even if it's really cold outside even if my friend doesn't really feel well she needs to go outside because otherwise her daughter won't be asleep which is crazy for me uh, but I knew basically many people like this um, so uh, if your baby is like that I'm so sorry for you and hopefully it will change by the time and uh, it will change pretty much soon and you'll be able to you know like relax a bit and not really stress about everything basically uh also uh she actually sleeps with obviously her pillows as you could see uh with a little toys that she hugs so i feel like she just feels that she's safe uh she can hug it and uh sometimes she even put it on her head so she just has uh a more darker room uh some of her favorite toys uh a blanket which is just not really a thing there it's not really working maximum as like sometimes as a pillow uh also she sleeps with a pacifier uh which is a lifesaver if she's leaving uh we actually put it in the fridge or freezer and uh, it helps her to relieve from the pain uh, so she sleeps with it we actually have four of those it's all from Nuke parent 
and she has two actually in the bedroom one she's using and one is like spare uh, because she previously had the other one and uh, basically one day she just basically uh, hated the way we weren't really able to find it for a few days which was crazy and it was actually inside of the blanket and uh, we actually didn't really felt it there we didn't know where it is we basically uh, looked everywhere and it was nowhere <laughs> uh, so it was a little bit crazy and so that's the reason why she has two in the bedroom plus one in the diaper bag which we take uh, on our walks on uh, a trips and things like that uh, she actually has it just for sleeping she's not really using it like on a regular basis because obviously uh, when she's going to be older we don't really want her to use pacify so it's gonna be much easier uh, to like you know not really wanting her to use it if she's not really used to it uh, plus one in a car seat which is amazing for a long journeys uh, especially when we were on our journey which was like 13 hours to Italy uh, we actually went there during the night as well so she basically fell asleep and I was sleeping the nearly whole journey as well so uh, it's basically great for her to sleep it plus she needs a curtains closed uh, because she basically prefers to have darker room uh, for her sleeps even like during the day uh, she would actually fall asleep in the stroller or in a car seat even if it's you know light but uh, she won't really fall asleep on a sofa in her bed or anything like that when it's light so she needs a curtains closed and uh, as you could see she's watching a uh, disney movies before she falls asleep um she actually was uh, listening to some like let's say podcast uh, which was a fairy tale for kids uh, it was when she was actually just a few months old and uh, so I like uh, read to her a book or she was listening to that and she was sleeping uh, then she just basically preferred a TV on so she's watching a Disney movies and um, her favorites are actually Winnie the Pooh, Cinderella, Mulan, Pocahontas and that's pretty much it she actually isn't really fan of Frozen and uh, basically the whole flash disk uh, that we have in the bedroom is full of her Disney movies um, but I have a one uh, movie there as well which is Save Heaven and uh, it's funny because when it turns on uh, she's like watching it and uh, basically in the middle of the film she starts crying and she doesn't really want to watch it so uh, I definitely just keep the uh, favorite of the uh, Disney movies for her on there or and also she loves 101 uh, Dalmatins she's a huge fan of it so also about the sleeping routine again I believe that if your baby is used to something since the newborn phase it's much easier to keep going that way 
Uh, so uh, for example, if your baby is used to fall asleep by you in your arms, in your bed, uh, while breastfeeding and things like that, and you basically want to let your baby uh, learn uh, sleep by themselves or definitely any change, uh, it's pretty much harder for your baby to understand it, uh, for you to keep going with that and it's gonna take definitely a long time to learn for your baby uh, because your baby wouldn't really understand why it is. Uh, so I'm really really glad that we basically uh, learned Vanessa to fall asleep by herself uh obviously she was sleeping in our bed as well for a few nights uh she basically uh was sleeping in my arms when she was newborn as well uh definitely not like on a regular basis but just sometimes and actually sleeping with us in our bed isn't really a thing at the moment because uh she can uh you know uh walk and not really walk but uh, she would basically crawl and uh, she would actually fall out of the bed because she wouldn't really stop if anything isn't uh, about her and uh, so it would be quite dangerous for her as well and uh, basically I feel like uh, me, Vojta and even Vanessa would fall asleep and have a better sleep if we sleep in our own bed. Uh, so Vanessa actually has a bed uh, next to our bed so she's pretty much close to us but she has her own bed and uh, it's actually what works uh, the best for us. Uh, so basically if she was sleeping in our bed we would actually need some like uh, something else around our bed for her to not really fall on the bed. Uh, which would be definitely quite challenging to, you know, like go out for bread uh, for us as well. So I'm really, really glad that she's used to it like this. Uh, obviously, I know many moms who would prefer to sleep with uh, their baby or who would actually uh, let their baby sleep while breastfeeding and it works for them. Obviously, if it works for you and you are fine with it, then it's just perfect. Uh, this is just what works for us the best and uh, I wouldn't really want to change it in any way. So now let's talk about the baby monster. Uh, to be honest, we don't have any at all. I'm not really a fan of it, but obviously it's your own thing and if you feel uh, safer with it, definitely use it. It's up on you. But uh, we actually had one just in the hospital and it didn't really work for us. Uh, I was actually annoyed about it and uh, so we actually don't have any we have just a like sound monitor which i just turn on when i want to sit in the garden and Vanessa is taking her like afternoon nap or any nap during the day and uh, so i can basically just hear her uh, so this is the only thing we use uh, obviously so it's as a thing and uh, it's a super super scary thing but uh, obviously it's not preventing from it nothing can really prevent and 
of course I was really afraid but thankfully everything is okay and um, obviously for example if uh, you have some heart diseases or your baby has some heart disease uh, it's definitely better to have one uh, you can actually choose from many different ones for example the most common are actually the little uh, mattress which is probably underneath the uh, sheets and uh, people are also says that you can't really use any pillows, blankets and basically like mostly anything in your baby's bed which to me sounds crazy because obviously I wouldn't really want to fall asleep in a completely like plain bed so um, as you could see we actually have many things there she also has some toys so she can play with it uh, while she's just falling asleep or when she wakes up and uh, doesn't really want to go anywhere yet and she just wants to relax so she can play with those uh, we are completely fine with it uh, it works for us uh, then you can actually have one which is like on socks or on the diaper uh, probably some bracelet as well so pretty much depends on you and on your preference uh, basically for us the audio one is enough and it's something that we really need um, especially during the day and the summer days when I actually wanted to sit outside and I wouldn't really be able to hear Vanessa if she was awake so this is what works for us so thank you guys for watching my video hoped uh, it helped at least some of you uh, let me know out in the comments uh, what works for you what are your tips how old is your baby what's your sleeping routine with the baby and uh, I hope you liked the video Please subscribe to my channel to stay tuned to more videos because definitely more videos are coming soon and uh, I'm currently working on some and uh, will be working on some in the few next days so definitely more videos are coming out uh, so just subscribe and uh, comment down below what your sleeping journey is Bye!